What's up guys, my name is Timbo and welcome to another Destiny video. In today's video we are going to be looking at the bane of a lot of Crucible players existence over the time span, the lifespan of Destiny. That's right, we are going to be looking at the exotic hand cannon Thorn. Thorn was absent in year 2, much like Galahorn, Icebreaker, and I believe Pocket Infinity as well, but through numerous tweaks, Bungie has decided that it is okay enough for it to return to year 3. It comes with exactly the same perks as before. If you see this line right here, that means that there's going to be ornaments here soon uh, with Festival of the Lost, much like I think Bad Juju, Red Death, uh, the last word, some other ones. There's actually a glitch that you can do uh, with another person if you want to be able to view what these look like. They look, they look all right, um, but they're not going to change the way that this weapon performs for this video, so we don't need them. Now, a lot of people were really kind of on edge, didn't really know what to think when they heard that Thorn was returning in year three before Rise of Iron came out, and for good reason. This weapon was very broken in a lot of people's opinions. The burn damage was just way too much. You could two tap people to the head. This was the best hand cannon by far. And they couldn't really do anything to tone it down without destroying it. However, now that it is returned, you don't really see it that much. And I think that comes down to a couple of reasons. The first one being that there are other weapons that people have gravitated towards. Per pulse rifles, uh, other hand cannons. There are things that people have adjusted to because this weapon was couldn't be used in Trials of Osiris, in Iron Banner, throughout the entirety of year two. So people found something else that they liked. The other reason is that the quest itself just is kind of dumb. Like it, to, to, it's all RNG. And that goes back to, uh, man, it was this weapon, Bad Juju, and Invective of year one. Uh, you would get the bounties randomly by turning in other bounties, you know? Uh, and that's the same for these ones you need to be doing um, there's none of them here, but you need to be doing your Shiro bounties, and of me and all my friends, we've all gotten it, uh, after we got, like, 20 of them done. I got it on my 23rd, you know, so you have to do quite a few of these, and they can be, they're not necessarily boring, but it requires a lot of patrolling the Plague Lands and Archon's Forge and stuff, which, for solo players, can be kind of crappy. Um, Archon's Forge is definitely more fun, but you need some people to to be able to play with which can be kind of a struggle but you know once you get it it's a very easy quest you just do a couple of strikes kill a couple of things it's the same exact thing as a thorn year one it's just made easier for you i don't know i just feel like this weapon isn't good enough for a lot of people to go out and do the shiro bounties and try to grind for it and just get it to drop it's kind of a hassle to get it done uh, but once you do I mean I'm really glad I really wanted the thorn I'm glad that I have it but for a lot of people you know they just this is just so much easier to get so I'm excited to use the thorn I actually have not used it um, since I got it I just got it like literally like 10 minutes ago <laughs> so we're gonna go into control and we're gonna see how this performs I am I am very, very excited to use this once again. I can now use it in Trials, or Iron Banner, or wherever I want if I do so, please. So, without further ado, guys, let's do this thing. Also got a nice button up forgotten doing all those Archon's Forge uh, Shiro bounties yesterday, which is pretty nice. I haven't got one of these before. So, I mean, if you guys want to see a video on this, Hidden Hand Armor Piercing Rounds, um, yeah, just let me know. Let me know, and I, I will do that for you guys. I use Thorn in Year 1 quite a bit. The only thing that really deterred me from using it was just because I felt bad about it. Because, you know, everybody was using it and it was kind of like the cheesy thing to use, you know. Insta win thorn and all this garbage. But I don't know, it's just, it's a fun gun to use. It just, oh man. And I probably suck with it right now. I mean, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe this thing sucks. And that's why I've not been seeing it at all. But you just can't really, like, year one, I could have... Oh my god, I'm freaking awesome. Oh. Dang it! Oh, see? Uh, see, you're one that, that might have killed them. That might have been enough. Because it ticked 7 damage instead of, like, 2. And I think if you hit another headshot or something, you can stack it up to 3. Or Oh, man. I don't know. But it used to do a lot more. Oh, man. This map is so awkward. Like... <laughs> It's like, well, if I jump up there, I'm going to die, because they'll have the sight on me, but then if I don't move in, they're, they're going to get the zone, and it's just a weird thing, 
You know, I do not use Stormcaller that much, but oh my goodness. Like, if you get acclimated to using this melee all the time and just knowing the ranges you can hit it with it, oh my god. <laughs> Bang! See, it's still a good three-shot kill at decent ranges. It's just not at as much range anymore. Why aren't you murdering his face? Come on, Emperor! Ho ho ho! I love you, Emperor! Aw, oh, dang it. I am using the range perk that this one comes with. But I believe on year one, I used uh, Perfect Balance. But then again, uh, year one Thorn and just hand cannons in general used to have a lot more range just built into them. So I don't know. I feel like you kind of have to. But I don't know. I haven't really tried it out enough, as I've said before. To fully know for sure why you got to bloody Nova bomb me. That's not nice at all, mate. See if I can get these guys picking up their heavy out of this door. Ah, uh, well I could have if the freaking warlocks. No. Ah. Oh, sidearm, mate. Ow, that hurt. Ow. D don't. Ah. Uh, uh. People always show me, but never what to do. Ah, uh, jump shot. Quick go. No. Why? God, please, Siva. No. Ah. <laughs> God damn it, Siva. One good thing still about the thorn. Oh god, freaking Axion bolts. But one good thing still about the thorn is when you're doing the tick damage, it can be good in something like trials or just basic crucible, just seeing people through the walls, you know? Don't rush me, boy. <gasps> what? Aren't I an OP freaking warlock with the melee? What? You let me down. Slice and dice him. Wow, I played terrible that game. I just realized I didn't get my super. Come on, come here. Oh, no. If I swear to God, if I fall off the map. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got the kill. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You heard that. And man, I suck. Well, guys, that was the thorn. Kind of a lackluster performance on my part. Uh... You know, this weapon isn't bad. It was exactly what I expected it to be. It's not a bad hand cannon, but there are better hand cannons out there. I think the whole exotic perk of the Lingering Devourer doesn't really... Um, it's not good enough. It doesn't come in handy enough to be better than Rangefinder, you know, on a hand cannon or something like that. So, you know, it's, it's alright. I'm very glad that I got it. I'm, th I'm gonna use it a lot more. I think that I'll have better success with it when I'm, like, actually trying in the, in the crucible and not just messing around for a video uh but yeah yeah the thorn i like it but i want to hear from you guys that have the year three thorn uh do you like it do you use it or does it sit in the vault you know are you kind of somewhere in between where it's like yeah you know i'll use it for crucible but you know if i want to get really sweaty as balls i'll switch to something else i would like to hear that from you guys well, that's all i got guys if you enjoyed the video if you could please leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe both those things are greatly appreciated leave a comment down below of a weapon that you want to see me use in a future video all your video ideas leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for watching once again and as always i will see you in the next one